Liz, however, lurks in the shadows. Liz, actually, you know, I'm going to pull ahead. Go ahead and pull this up because I attached this to the site. Um, I made a post explaining the prospects and that I would keep the site up no matter what, at least on tour until February 2023. And then he says, that's making an awful lot of assumptions, buddy. Well, here we are in February 2023. The site is indeed up. In fact, if I go to... Um, Am I not logged in? Okay, I'm not logged in, so I can... Let me actually sh hide my screen real quick, just in case. And I'm going to show you something. So I'll show you something that I've made over the last month. Uh, since we don't have Cloudflare, we don't have any Layer 7 DDoS protection, I decided, you know what, fuck it. I'll make my own. And so... Um, this is what happens now when you try to access the Kiwi Farms. Blinking, you'll miss it. You get a very quick um, work check page, and that is my proprietary. I built that for the forum based off the uh, proof of concept from the Thomas Lynch one that we used on tour. And Kiwi Flare is now live. In fact, I think I can just show you the page independently. And this is what it says checking your browser before accessing Kiwi Farms. This process is automatic. DDoS retarding by Kiwi Flare. And we even have that really cute logo. And I think I have a full version of it. It's. Um, Someone asked for a Kiwi Farms, like, Cloudflare logo for a mug. They wanted a mug. So this guy was like, fuck it, I can make a, um, I can go ahead and make you a logo if you want, buddy boy. And so he did. And this was the, actually, that's just the logo. This is what he came up with, his mug design. Imminent threat to human life with the, the Cloudflare to, uh, take, because that's what Matthew Prince bullshitted about to excuse his 180 on the Kiwi Farms in two days. Um, but I was like, that logo is like a wonderful little uh, like Cloudflare parody. I love that. So I had him send it to me, you know, independently because nobody knew I was working on this at the time. And it just so happened. I saw that. I'm like, that's excellent. So that's what's ended up getting stuck on the page. And it really, it really ties the place together like a good rug. Um, so I'm quite proud of that. And that's one of the many inventions I've had to make because this square-faced freak of nature who's been accused of rape and denies it and says that I'm accusing him of rape. No, actually, you randomly decided to announce to the internet that someone had been accusing you of rape for years. Um, really just a really gross person. Former Google employee, by the way. Um, they are a laughing stock in the community. Everyone knew to stay out of this freak's way because uh, he was in the LGBT Google, like Googler discussion forum, their internal forum, and he was a menace. He would report everybody to HR for like being transphobic, or whatever the fuck. Got married to this thing, who whenever I, I joked about the trans snake a lot, but it's like. Look at those fucking man tits. They always point out. You can put in fake man tits all you want, but they will point out like man boobs do. They will never point inwards. They will never look real. Uh, but he likes to tie his hands behind his back and go, I'm a snake. I'm a snake. I'm a, I'm a trans snake. I'm a snake animal woman. I'm a, I'm a snake woman. I'm a trans snake woman. Uh, and this is what uh, Liz Fong Jones got married to. And Liz Fong Jones is so fucking mad that we know about the trans snake that he has spent months and months and months desperately trying to take the forum down, and it has not worked. It has jeopardized the internet. It has politicized internet backbone. If you work in the industry, you should never be anywhere near this fucking menace. Because this person has made tier one internet service providers a political target, has potentially jeopardized freedom of speech in the ethnic region, by um, because if we were to lose our, by the way, Apnic told him to fuck off. Uh, so me, like when I warn people that if Apnic decided to start censoring websites, the first thing that happened that would happen would be China, would be to start uh filing and complaints in mass to revoke resources in the in the area. Um, that didn't happen. I think Apnic said that would be a terrible idea, and you know it. But the little one man crusade is. But and by the way, if I did lose Apnic resources, I would just buy new ones. You can just buy an IPv4 allocation for uh, for Aaron. It's it's just stupid. He really tried. He really tried to fuck up the whole internet. And I hope everybody knows about it. I hope that his name is so tarnished in the industry 
for how much damage he's tried to to actually pull off, how much he did pull off, and how much he wanted to pull off. Uh, everybody should know that Liz Fong Jones is a fucking menace and can bring only terrible things to everybody you know if you associate with them.